name is Raida Boost and in this brief video I will introduce how to use drones in construction. Basically we take a look how to create drone flight program, there are different ways to do it. Then of course we visit construction site, we do our measurements and once we come back then we take a look how to turn those measurements into valuable information. This information can be in different shapes, is it the image series? Is it a 3D model or maybe we use some kind of machine learning to find some interesting objects from those images. Anyway, um, I hope that you enjoy this video and uh, let's start from the beginning, meaning that uh, we first start to create those drone flight programs. Let's do that. Drone flight program can be built up in different ways. The easiest way is to use software inside the drone joystick, which also has its own flight planning application. But in later episode, I will show you how to export some feature line from the project drawing as KML file, and then using that information to create a flight plan. Once the application has started, you can push the plan option, which of course depends on what drone you use. But in general, you then move forward to select the method how you want to fly your drone. Each drone may have different selection of programs, and it can also depend on software upgrades. But the general rule of thumb is that you select the option based on the use case you fly your drone. For example, 3D photogrammetry, which enables to create a flight program in a way that a drone flies a given area in two different direction paths. Once the option has been selected, we start to map the flying area. In here, we have one of the study building in Tallinn University of Technology, and I simply point to corners or midpoints of that flying perimeter from where I want to get the data. I will define my flight elevation, and in here I'm using 50 meters. You may have different selection of parameters that you can use with your drone. For example, I can select the automatic setting if I fly with sunny or cloudy weather. I also change my camera angle to get a better perspective. Let's pick it as minus 60 degrees. I can then move to fix the image overlaps. It is generally recommended to use higher overlapping values. I am keeping it as 80%. But you can also use a lower value. I can save my flight program by giving a specific name. I usually start by project short name. I also prefer to add flight altitude. It is 50 meters and also some general information about my camera settings. I can change those settings also later and overwrite my existing program or saving it as a separate flight program. Basically, I can end my edit now and move to the construction site and start the drone flight program by using a fly button. Or if I want to make some quick edits, I can select a plan option again, picking up the flight program I want to edit. Maybe I want to change the angle of my drone flight, so that those will be aligned with my building main axis. I can also change all other settings and then decide do I want to overwrite my current program or save it as a new one with a different name, and then exiting from the editing or flight mode. We have made our flight program, so we can pack it all up, move to the construction site and carry out our flight program. In the next episode, I take a quick look how to use project drawing for KML export so that I can use some feature line to create my flight program more easily. For example, it could be my road center line or alignment. I can export that line into KML file and later we can use that line 
to create our drone flight program in correct coordinates. You can export different types of feature lines, and the type itself will define do you want to create 2D linear or 3D photogrammetry based flight program. If you got excited to see my next episode, please do subscribe to my channel and you get notifications once I upload a new video. Bye bye!